Let's go, see how far we get. Your girlfriend better be right about this. She's doing the best she can. Everyone needs to just give her a break. Yeah, don't expect anybody to get all warm and fuzzy with her anytime soon. She saved my life and I still wouldn't turn my back on her. Look, I'm sorry, Carl, but whether we find that tomb or not, you guys are in for a rough ride. You think I don't know that? Sir, I got footprints. Fairly recent. Rain's washed most of the trail away. I said they're heading west by northwest. You know this terrain, Chief. How would you get through these mountains? This way. Bill. Do you think I made a mistake? A mistake? Even if we find what we're looking for. I divided the fleet. I created a chasm where there was unity. Can anything be worth that? I like to think that following your heart is never a mistake. And that is why I decided to risk bringing Sharon with us. What about you? Hmm. I just had to do it, you know. Family had to be put back together, whatever the cost. So abstract. Whatever the cost. And you're confronted with the cost, the real cost. Things become less abstract. We found Delosha's grave. I'm really sorry. You come to find that nothing really helps. Just tell you the bodies and husband your tears. You've changed. Popular opinion is has something to do with post-traumatic reaction to the shooting. Personally, I think I'm just a wuss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> nothing, nothing, more nothing. Are you satisfied? Yes, yes I am. Thank you very much, Doctor. Just, um... We're absolutely positive, aren't we, that there's no, um... unidentified, um, objects. Like what? Like a Cylon computer chip. You know, the kind that makes you think you're chosen by God. I crash-landed on a on planet, thought maybe I got some shrapnel in the head. Hear noises and see. Well, you can obsess over these as much as you like on your own time. Freaking hypochondriac. One on every bloody ship. What's up, guys? I'm mad. <clears throat> Thanks for asking. 
Well, isn't it better now that you know? Now you can enjoy your psychosis. No more angst-driven torment about God and the Cylons and the baby. The baby? There's not going to be a baby. How could there be? I need help. I need serious, serious psychological help. Yeah, there's an idea. Hi, I'm Dr. Balto, and I'm having severe guilt because I helped bring about the genocide of the entire human race. Would you, uh, help me? Is that what I sound like? Is it? I'm fracked up pretty bad. I'll take care of you. Just like I always have. And now you know you can trust me because I'm really you. to tell you for a little while. You don't have to say anything. I understand why you did what you did. You took a principled stand. Uh, that's actually not what I'm talking about. Um, truth is, I'm an atheist. I just thought you should know that. I don't, I don't believe in the gods, and I don't believe in the scriptures. I believe that when you die, you die. OK. And. And I'm here because I believe in you, and I believe in Commander Adama, and I want you to know I think it's possible to do both. It's so good to have you back. You really think I'm going to be president one day? You know, Dad, um, what I did on Colonial One was never about you and me. Let's just all get off of this planet at one piece, OK? Is this the self-help group for dysfunctional families and insubordinate officers? Oh, so we're not to the point where we're laughing about it yet? <laughs> Another Sharon. If I wasn't mad, I might find some deeper meaning in that. But you are mad, silly boy. Yes. Yes, I know. of Koval hear my prayer. Yeah, it's good to be home. <laughs> 